What's up everyone, this is Brian Jimenez here with Kim & Co. And today we have another tech tutorial. And this time we're going to be talking about Hotjar. If you're unfamiliar with Hotjar, Hotjar is a visual analytics tool that allows you to understand how your site visitors are interacting with the pages of your website. Hotjar is particularly useful for landing pages and sales pages that you want to visually optimize for better conversions. So we're going to be going over how to install Hotjar on your website, how to understand the different reports, and what to keep your eye out on when you are tracking your different sales pages or landing pages. So let's head on over to the desktop and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head on over to hotjar.com and we're going to click on the right hand side button where it says get started. From here, you're going to put in all your information and you're going to click on get started right here. All right, so you're going to put in all your information right here. My role right now is going to be, hmm, let's see, engineer. I can sense. Click on next. Now, what we want to look at first in Hotjar. I want to identify potential initiatives. All right, so now that we have finalized our sign up process, now we're going to install the tracking code on our website. There are two ways to install the tracking code. You can either install the code itself or you can install the Hotjar plugin on your website. This is going to depend if you're using Shopify or WordPress. If you're not using something like Shopify or WordPress, then we will go through the manual installation routes. So I have logged into my WordPress dashboard and under the plugins section, I'm going to search for Hotjar. We want to make sure that we are using the official Hotjar plugin by Hotjar and we're going to click on install now. Once it has installed, we're going to activate it. Once it's activated, we're going to go over to the settings section and we're going to go all the way down to Hotjar. And here we're going to add the Hotjar ID. Your Hotjar ID is located at the very top right section right here. This is your site identifier and we are going to copy that, head on over to Hotjar and we are going to paste it. Once this is done, we're going to click on save changes. Now back on the Hotjar panel, we're going to click on verify installation. To verify our installation, we're going to type in our website URL. And we're going to click on verify installation. Now we have confetti and we are ready to begin tracking our users interactions. Now, if I have a website like Squarespace, all I have to do is go back to my dashboard. I'm going to click on the copy code section, right? I'm going to copy my tracking code. I'm going to head on back over to Squarespace. I'm going to click on pages navigate down to website tools, click on code injection. And per the instructions, right, we have to paste this tag inside of the head, right, of every page. So inside of the header, we're going to paste and then click save. Once this is saved, all we have to do is go back verify the installation and we should be good to go. At this point, you want to allow Hotjar to do its thing and start tracking and collecting data from your website. So I would give it about 30 days so you have enough information to start understanding how your visitors are interacting with your pages. At that point, your dashboard will look a little something like this where you're gonna have more data and start seeing more information Versus right now, if you're using Hotjar for the very first time, 
all of your data is pretty much blank right now. So I want to head over to the heat maps because that's going to be the very first place that you want to start tracking or start looking at. So probably for you, everything here is blank. So what you want to do is you want to create your first heat map. So let's click on add new heat map. Here I'm going to be typing in our website and we're going to click on continue. And what we want to do is we have three main tracking areas, right? So you want to track clicks, scroll, or the most used areas of your specific page. So for this one, let's just do clicks. Now it's going to pop three different uh, screenshots of your website. You might want to make sure that they are accurate. These do not seem very accurate to me. So I'm going to create or take a new screenshot. I'm going to let this load. See on the very bottom, I have a take a new screenshot button and click right here. And we're going to allow this to gather the information it needs. Great. So now that we have our screenshot and we have our new heat map, now you can start tracking and seeing what are the areas where your visitors interact with the most. If I hover over this section right here, we actually have 12 clicks on the title and we have two clicks on this button right here. And if I, if I continue to scroll, you're going to see where are people clicking on your page. They're clicking more on this button and they're clicking on this button as well. And for whatever reason, they are clicking on this text right here. So these are the ways that you can start optimizing your pages, your landing pages, your sales pages, even your homepage, your blog, or whatever it is that you want to really track and start making visual changes to your, to your site in order to accommodate what people are already doing on your pages. So I'm back on my dashboard and one tool that Hotjar has that is super awesome is the recordings. And what I want you to do is keep track of these recordings and really take a look and understand what is it that visitors are doing on your website. So in order to see these recordings, all you have to do is click play on the left hand side. So here we have a recent visitor of ours interacting with one of our blog posts. Notice the movements, notice what they're doing, if they're reading, if they are clicking on different buttons, or if, for example, this one just clicked on a hyperlink. So these are one of the many ways that you can start understanding how your visitors are interacting with the different pages of your website. So to recap, we created a hardware account, we installed our tracking code, and we went over two different kinds of reports. Now, Hunter has a lot more features, so I want you to continue playing around with your account and really start understanding how your visitors are interacting with your website pages. As a follow-up, I would love to hear your stories, so drop it on the comments below and let me know what have you discovered about your pages and about your website using the Hotjar Analytics tool. But that is it for now. This was Brian Jimenez with Kim & Co and I will see you on the next tutorial. Bye for now.